there is another uh, practice called shanti. Nhẫn, nhẫn nhục ba la mật. The environment, in the environment, there are things you have to bear. There's a lot of violence, misunderstanding, craving, dictatorship, discrimination. And the situation of the world is like that. You have to accept. And because this is an invention that is a collective creation of our mind. If the world situation of the world is like that, because we, the human race, has created the world like that. That is our collective karma, a collective creation. We cannot blame. So we begin to accept the world like that. There are social injustice, there is social injustice, there is social oppression, discrimination. The collective mind has created like that, has to accept. And that is, uh, that is the practice of uh, forbear- forbearance, patience. First we have to accept the situation like that in order to find ways to change. The course of uh, global warming has come from ourselves, the way we live our daily life, a collective uh, karma. If we don't practice uh, forbearance, patience, and then we give, give up to our despair and our anger, that's not good. The worst thing that can happen to us is despair. So practice in such a way that despair will not uh, manifest. Anger will not pull us away. And if you are Taken, if we are overwhelmed, if we are taken away by despair and uh, anger, violence, there is nothing left, no hope left. That is why the third practice of, pra- pra- of uh, paramita is uh, to bear. To accept, but that is this is not a kind of uh, negative, uh, passive uh, acceptance. Because we know that we can, with uh, our understanding, with our love, we can do something. We can always do something. The three things we have to bear in the in the teaching of Mahayana Buddhism, there are things from outside we have to bear. Social injustice, oppression, discrimination, global warming, all these things we have to bear. And there is uh, something that is in us, we have to bear the afflictions, the weakness, the anger, the fear that has been transmitted to us by former generations. We have to bear. With the practice, 
we can ease the pressure coming from outside. With the practice, we can ease the pressure coming from the inside. There are afflictions like anger, fear, that we have received from our ancestors. They are inside. We have to deal with the pressure coming from the outside. We have to bear. But if we don't practice understanding and compassion and giving, we cannot, we cannot uh, bear. It is by great understanding and great compassion that we can accept easily the pressure, the pressure from outside and from inside. So whatever uh, negative, unwholesome that we find around us and inside of our community, that is the outcome of, uh, of uh, the past karma, the past action, we have to accept, we have to bear, but with uh, great understanding and compassion, it's much easier for us to, to accept. Otherwise, we will give up and we will be victim of despair and violence and anger. And if we allow ourselves to be the victim of despair and violence, there is nothing left as hope. And in Mahayana Buddhism, Patience is also concerning enlightenment. You know that your nature is nature of no birth and no death. You know in principle and you know intellectually that your nature is nature of no birth and no death. And yet you have not directly experienced that. It takes time. It takes patience. You have learned that things are impermanent, things are without self. You accept them intellectually. And yet you, are not, you have not experienced directly that fact. You need more practice. You need more mindfulness and concentration so that the thing that you have learned uh, become a real insight. You have notions, you have understanding of, uh, of that uh, teaching, and yet you don't, you don't experience uh, directly. It takes time. And that is the third aspect of uh, forbearance, of patience, that we learn from Mahayana Buddhism. No birth and no death. Voshin Fapnyan. Pháp Nhạc. We have brother Pháp Nhạc here. Dharma patience. The no birth, no birth, no death. That is the highest uh, achievement that the practitioner can get. Touching our true nature, the nature of no birth and no death. We understand it, we accept it uh, intellectually, and yet we have not Actually, that's it. We know that the nature of a cloud is the nature of no birth and no death. We know that the nat- our true nature is also the nature of no birth and no death. We have seen it uh, intellectually. We are convinced, but uh, because uh, our concentration, our mindfulness are not uh, powerful enough, we have not uh, fully realize it. So that is the third aspect of patience uh, talked about in the teaching of uh, Mahayana 